Hey everyone, Alex Cardinelli here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, The Legendary Alex Cardinelli. Today I present to you another installment of Keeping It Real with Alex Cardinelli. You know, yesterday was Veterans Day, and I have a lot of respect for veterans who help protect our country and help make sure people like me and all the other fine Americans have freedom. We have to understand that freedom is not free because there are people that defend our country and some of them lose their lives or they get seriously wounded and injured. So we need to remember that freedom is not free. There are people that are defending our country to make sure that we have freedom. So it pains me when I see people refusing to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance or getting on a knee and protesting the Pledge of Allegiance. Because basically you are disrespecting the United States of America when you do that and you are disrespecting our servicemen and our service women when you do that. If you do not like what is going on in the United States of America, well then I've got one solution for you. Leave. You can go to Canada, you can go to the United Kingdom, but you can get your ass out of here if you're not going to uh, do the Pledge of Allegiance or pay respects to everybody that is putting their lives on the line for us to have our freedoms. So you can disagree with what's going on in the United States of America, but where I draw the line is where you disrespect all these young servicemen and service women and all the veterans who put their lives on the line for us to have freedom. So I just wanted to take some time to share my thoughts on that. Every time I see someone at a sporting event, um, basically disrespecting the United States of America by not standing during the Pledge of Allegiance or getting down on their knee and disrespecting our country. It really pisses me off. I am a full-fledged American. I was born right here in the good old U.S. of A. And my entire family was born here in the good old USA. All my friends were born here in the USA. And they all feel the same way that I do. If you don't love America, that's fine. Just leave it. There's no need for you to be here and um, disrespect our soldiers who are putting their lives on the line. So there's a saying from somebody that I am going to quote. When it comes to living in America, by God, you either love it or you leave it. And that's how I'm going to end it. That is how I feel. But anyways, I want to thank all the servicemen and service women, either current or past, for their service. And I want to wish them a happy belated Veterans Day. Hopefully you had a great meal at your favorite restaurant. This weekend is dedicated to you. Hopefully you have a great weekend and um, I hope that the next year and all the years to come, you continue to enjoy the United States of America. What people don't realize is that these people who put their lives on the line for this country, they often come home with post-traumatic stress disorder or disease, PTSD, and that is something that is really difficult to live with. And thus, many of our soldiers that are coming back from defending our countries, they, they have a hard time finding jobs. They have a hard time getting back to a normal life. So it is our duties to provide um, as much help and support that we can to our soldiers who are coming back from their mission. So if you see a soldier or you see a veteran, always thank them for their service because they provided you your freedom. 
Anytime I see a veteran and I have a couple extra dollars in my pocket, I'll pay for their meal, whether they're at a fast food restaurant, a bakery, or a restaurant. I will I will go out of my way to make sure that their food they have food to eat. And if I see them wearing a hat that says they are a veteran, I will make sure to thank them for their service. It's the least we can do as Americans. So thank you for listening to my rant on all those who serve in this country. And I thank you so much for your service. And I hope you guys have a great Veterans Day weekend. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you don't like this video and you don't like America, well then screw you, leave it. Goodbye everybody.